All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Prophet John here. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so this comes out, and Sports Center, uh, ESPN on Sports Center posts this. Uh, it says 15 women who worked for the Washington's NFL team alleged sexual harassment by former scouts and members of owner Dan Snyder's inner circle. The Washington Post reported on Thursday. So, this is very interesting because we see this all the time. For those that are decoders and those that are just in tune with the, uh, you know, with Hollywood and the Illuminati uh, puppetry stuff and all the rituals and stuff, this happens all the time. Every time. Every time they want you to do something, they will start to, de they, they, they will go after your image, right? And uh, this is exactly what they're doing. So they want Washington Redskins to change the name, of course. Um, this should have been that. First of all, they should have never called themselves the Washington Redskins, and people should never have approved it. And African American and ADUS people and, and Native Americans and Spanish people and, and white people should not have been going to the stadiums and and buying the merch. Like, come on, people! Like. <laughs> It's one of the reasons why, when I was a kid, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't root for the Washington Redskins. I was a 49ers fan, the you know San Francisco 49ers. Okay, um, I just never liked that name, and I thought I was like, what? Why are you? What? Why would you name yourself something like that, knowing it's disrespectful to people and hurtful to people? Uh, even if it's just a hundred thousand people or a million people in the country, that's huge. It's still hurtful to people. So don't do it, right? And uh, they still did it because that's, you know, it's just who the, you know, the Zionists are, right? They don't care. Um, so they're, they're trying to force them to change the name, and they really don't want to change the name. So now they're going to go after the image and say, if you don't change the name, we're just going to remove you by fake sexual harassment and uh, allegations. This, this happens all the time. You're starting to see this happen all over Hollywood when people don't get their way, okay? When people don't get their way, they start to then go after your image. They start to go after your, uh, you know, they, they go after you uh, and, and they put up all types of stuff about you that, that why didn't, why didn't these people say anything about it? Why didn't these 15 women uh, say anything this whole time? You were quiet this whole time until the until uh, DC attorney uh, Beth uh, Wilkinson uh, did a uh, looks like she went through the organization's protocol and did a review on it and found that 15 women have been uh, alleged sexually harassed. I mean, did they get paid off or something to be quiet? And if they did get paid off to be quiet, why didn't you go to the women first and say, "Do you want this out there?" Uh, because you were you did sign a contract to be quiet about this, and so I need to respect that if that's what what you guys chose to do but no they didn't do that they you know they 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 just put it out there oh we just we found 15 women that have been sexually uh you know uh, harassed in, in washington dc why because you must change your name <laughs> right and dan snyder doesn't really want to change the name uh because he loves washington redskins you know maybe he grew up on the name as well right and so he's in to that name and he loves the name he loves the colors he loves everything about it even though it might be hurtful to people he doesn't care right but they're gonna make sure that he cares and they're gonna go after his image now okay so now it's time to destroy your image because you refuse to change your name you see how that works in hollywood and so so this is what happens uh they'll go after you and they'll 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 make an example out of one of them so uh it's like well isn't he a zionist isn't why, why are they doing this to it because they have to make an example out of people you know uh they'll make example out of one or two of them and it, it doesn't matter i mean the guy's still rich at the end of the day right <laughs> he's still going to be a billionaire at the end of the day so it's not really hurting him it's just like the, the clippers owner right uh, who is a zionist as well right uh all the the, the phone conversation comes out and he's you know, talking all, you know, about the uh, African-Americans and, and ADOS players on his teams and, you know, calling them all types of names and stuff. And, you know, they, they made, they, you know, some, the lady, the girlfriend or the, whoever she was, um, put the, put that audio out and boom, there it went. Right. And so he's still a billionaire though. He's still, <laughs> he still gets to walk around and chill, do nothing and, uh, have a great life, you know, uh, remember, 
he got re- and guess what? He got rewarded. How did he get rewarded? Because he sold the team for uh, a, a record breaking price. What he, I, I think, right? I mean, the Clippers weren't worth that much when he when he was the owner. I mean, uh, but he sold it for a lot. The new owner that's out here dancing on in the court and like he's always in the front seat and he's dancing and he always has a lot of energy. He bought the Clippers for like one point something billion or two billion dollars. Like the Clippers were worth like eight hundred thousand dollars, but because they have to take care of each other, you know, they made the price super high, and so they, they he was able to leave uh, with a nice payday. Right? Uh, they always take care of each other, don't they? And so Daniel Snyder is going to probably go through the same thing. Daniel Snyder or Dan Snyder, Daniel Snyder, whatever his name is, right? He, you know, they're going to probably tear him's image down and force him to sell the team most likely, right? Change the name and sell the team. And he's going to get a record-breaking deal, in my opinion, <laughs> okay? Because, yes, we're going to tear you down, but we're going to let you walk away with a nice piece of change, okay? So look out for that. Um, it's probably coming, um, you know, they're, they're going to tear, they're going to tear down the team. They're going to tear down his image. They're going to tear down the workplace. They're going to, all these scandals are going to come out and more women are probably going to come out because now they think it's a payday. Uh, it's a chance for a payday as they sit at home with no jobs, uh, because of the virus, they're going to be like, let me just make up a story. I was, I was at the park and I was harassed as well. You know, <laughs> like, you know, then they're not going to, and people are going to be like, well, there were, there's cameras, there's cameras there, aren't there? Uh, we don't care. Just just say you were, you were harassed when you were walking down the hall. Just who cares? Let's get let's get a million dollars, you know. And so more more women are probably going to come out within the next week or two or three. And uh, this is going to be a complete mess for the Washington team. I don't even they're not, they're not even called the Redskins anymore. So um, they're being forced to change their name. And uh, now that because he doesn't really want to change the name. Uh, they and he's probably argued with people inside of the uh, Zionist secret meetings uh, and the elite meetings. He's probably been pissed off and saying, "Why are you people doing this to me?" Right? And so they're like, "Okay, we, we're gonna have to go to the next step." Yeah, we get get to the next step. Get the get the women. <laughs> All right. So it's like Dan, we love you, but we got to get the women. And he's like, "Oh no, don't do this to me." <laughs> right? So he's like, you know, they. When they put these stuff out, that doesn't mean that they hate the, this person, okay? Uh, it's it's a ritual. It's a it's an embarrassment ritual. It's a, you know that's what they call it. They did it to Robert Kraft, the owner of the Patriots, as well, okay? And uh, so don't don't. And then the next year he wins the Super Bowl. <laughs> I think that was a year, right? They, they lost the Super Bowl that year, and then they won the Super Bowl the next year. So I think, or, or was that the same year they won the Super Bowl? I don't even remember anymore. But either way, it's uh, <laughs> it's um. They, they, just because you see these things does not mean that they hate these people. They just want them to do a certain thing, and they don't want to do it. So they have to embarrass them and do a ritual on them uh, to get them to do it. But then they, but then they offer them, you know, they're gonna offer them probably four billion dollars for the team, you know, and and uh, you know, and he probably will, okay, I'll sell it for four billion and uh, go chill uh, with uh, Jeffrey Epstein and all the other people at the uh, Illuminati Island. You know, so don't be sad about these people because this is all rituals. They they already know these things are going to happen to them. OK, yeah, I'm pretty sure they were in meetings and they said, well, you don't want to conform. Then we have to go to the next step. He's like, oh, don't do that to me, please. Well, you, you need to change the name. He's like, I don't want to change the name. <laughs> and they're like, OK, well, we got to go to the next step. And then, boom, they tell uh, they tell the boule to to. Uh, to make the moves and put these stuff out, and then boom, you'll see it all over television, ESPN, and everywhere else, which is all under control of the uh, pyramid, right, and the Illuminati stuff. And so they all put all it, everything out, and it'll be all over the place. You're gonna see it all over the local local news. If you live in Washington D.C. and the and the uh, D.C. metro area, uh, metropolitan area, you're gonna see it all over the no local news, right? Everybody's in on it. Okay, so this is what happens. Um, so yeah, so they're gonna force him to change the name to the uh, the Redskins, and he might even have to. They might have. They might even force him to sell the team, but he's gonna get a record-breaking deal, right? <laughs> and this is what happens.
they're going to take care of the Zionists regardless, uh, regardless what they do to them. And now it's trending on, uh, I see it on, on, on the side. You guys can't see it, but I see it on the side. It says it's trending. Redskin scandal. And this is what they're going to do. All right. So they're going to probably force them to sell the team for a record-breaking deal. Um, and uh, and then they'll maybe re re uh you know, maybe, maybe they'll bring his image back, uh, make, let him go away for about five, six, seven years, and then start to rebrand his image again, as they always do for everybody else. All right, peace out, mm -hmm. God bless, eyes open, bye.